Today the title is Take Pride in Christ. So do you understand? Do you understand the sentence Take Pride? Take Pride means in an easier word, it means you boast. Ah, what does it mean? Boast. Do you understand boast? Um, let me give you one example. Like, oh, I have a very pretty toy. Then I boast my toy. Like, I have a very big house. Then I boast my house. Sometimes you boast a lot. Like, what is boast? That means you 자랑하는 거야. That is you boast, okay? So, boast means you take pride. I'm proud of this. Oh, I'm proud because my dad is the president. Oh, I'm very proud because I really have a good grade. Oh, I'm very proud of myself. So many people say that. What do you boast? Hajun, what do you boast? Forget it. <laughs> uh, what? Your pencil? Oh, your fave. Your fave. Or <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> No joke, this is worship time. <laughs> so, uh, there are the things that people usually boast or take pride in. What does the world boast? What does the world boast? They usually boast their Genesis 3, 6, and 11. So, they boast what is visible to the eye, what you can see, like your grade, oh, your score, like your house, your money, your appearance. That is what people boast because they are from Genesis 3, 6, and 11. And we were from there too. We also boast the things from Genesis 3, 6, and 11. And is it bad? Is it bad to boast? It's not really bad. You can boast uh, the things that you have or things that you achieved. But when you see Romans chapter 12, verse 2, the Lord says, Do not boast about the worldly things because they will disappear. They will be gone in the end. They are not forever. So why do we have to boast the things that will not save me and save my friend? It cannot save you. It cannot save me. It cannot save 237. So that is why this boasting is useless. It's not useful. It doesn't help. So that um, this will make you continue to um, raise the bodies in of Satan. So Satan wants you to boast these things today, tomorrow, and even the day after tomorrow. So you cannot find what you really have to boast. <laughs> How about God? What does God boast? Guess what? What does God boast? God has nothing to boast but himself. Because he is the most powerful one. He is the richest one. He is the master of the whole universe. So there is nothing more that he can boast. He is the greatest one. So when you introduce yourself, you have to talk about your name and where you live and what school you go to. But when God introduces himself, he has to say, I am who I am. That is all he can say. So there's nothing more that he could say. Then how powerful himself, how powerful is he? 
He is so powerful. He is so powerful that he could save us. He could give us the salvation. That is the greatest power that we can see. So, in the last pulpit message, the Lord, um, in the passage, we could see that God has His um, treasure. God has His treasure, and that was somebody remember what is God's treasure? God has His treasure, and what was that? Did you did you listen to the third message or second message, the pulpit message, like treasure? God has a treasure that is me. God's treasure is me. So that's why we take pride in that. That's our pride. So now, after knowing all these things, what is? my boast or my pride now our pride is the christ the christ is the key to the with emmanuel and oneness so what we are going to boast is nothing but the christ do you know the lyric of the hymnal song like nothing but the blood of Jesus, right? Nothing but the Christ. That is what I boast now. Because what I used to boast, what I boasted yesterday was Genesis 3, 6, and 11. But they are the things that will be gone in the end. They are not forever. They can't save us from Satan, but God is the most powerful one who can boast nothing but himself. He is so powerful that he could save us. And then that powerful one has a treasure that is me. So that kind of me has the pride or the boast. That is the name of Jesus Christ who is with me, who is with us. And who is with everything with me with us and with everything so uh, I really pray that we all of us may find the treasure hidden in the name of Jesus Christ so today the scripture says may I never boast but the cross out of our Lord Jesus Christ the cross of the cross of Jesus Christ is the place where I boast, boast the name. So may we deliver this boast, this pride to all the nations, including the two thirty seven nations and five thousand tribes. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Lord bless our remnants. May, them, may all of us boast only the name of Jesus Christ that is the key to our with Emmanuel oneness. Let us not boast the things that will disappear in the end, but help us to be filled with the Holy Spirit and boast the name of Jesus Christ to all the world. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.